I don't like this question. I think it's poorly written and I'll show you why. We're gonna do the most obvious thing, the thing that the SAT wants us to do and then we'll go from there. But let's take a look. The length of the edge of the base of a right square prism is six units. The volume of the prism is 2,880 cubic units. What is the height in units of the prism? Well, if you don't know how to find the volume of a prism, then you know they give it to you, right? So that's in the reference chart. You can see this right here is a prism. It is what might you might call a box, but yeah, it's a, it's a rectangular prism, a right uh, square prism is going to get a little bit more specific, but there you go, length with height, right? So volume is nice and easy to remember. So what we should be able to do here is kind of maybe even draw our own if we wanted to. So let me draw one, right? We know the base is a square. So let me see if I can do this, right? So boom, boom, and that's kind of looking like a square, right? And then it goes up however much, right? So I'm not an artist, but this is decent, okay. So if the length is six, then what we're supposed to know is that, okay, the base is a square, so that means the width is also six. So it's really this height here that we're not sure about, right? So volume is equal to length times width times height. So the 2880 is equal to six times six times H. So we're basically just dividing 2880 by six two times. So I'm just gonna do that in my regular calculator. So 2880 divided by six is 480. Then let's divide by six again, and that gives us 80, and that is the answer. So really easy question, right? Well, my problem with this is it doesn't, maybe this is just supposed to be something people know, and I'm just like out of the loop here, but it doesn't specifically say that the square side of this prism has to be the base, has to be the bottom, right? So it, we drew it that way, right? So I'm gonna kinda use green here to show you. That's the square. It's on the bottom or on the top, depending how you wanna look at it, right? But what if it was tilted? In fact, if you go to the prism in the reference chart, it's not quite a square, but it looks more like what I'm kinda suggesting, that the square is on a different side, right? And maybe I'm wrong, but it doesn't explicitly say that the square has to be the bottom. And maybe that's kind of implied, maybe when we say the a right square prism, the language there dictates that the bottom has to be the square. I don't know, I never learned that in school, That that's news to me. We would have just called this a rectangular prism or something like that. So I don't, I don't know, the language is bothering me. But if we think about it that way, right? We would say, okay, then the 2880 is still our volume, our length is six, but that means then that the width and the height are the same, right? So those would be the square side, right? The width and the height. You can see it based on that, this little drawing here. So let's, let's just call it x squared, okay? So now we can just do the math slightly differently, right? We would divide by six. So let's do that again. I think we got 480 before. So 2880 divided by six, right, is 480. That's equal to x squared. Right, so we take the square root of both sides to get x. So the square root of 480, uh, let's, let's do this the long way. Let's uh, break this down. So I see uh, 48 and uh, 10, right? 10 is five and two, 48 is four uh, and 12, 12 is four and three. So we got two fours that can come out, right? So that's x being equal to four, and then we gotta leave everything else behind. So that's three times five is 15 times two is 30. So x is four root 30, huh? That's an answer. So what's going on here? Is this just a trap, right? Give me some comments. What do you think? Maybe I'm just out of the loop in how this stuff is talked about, but I looked up the specific uh, official college board um, explanation and it kind of just ducks the question, right? It, it says that A is wrong because it's a miscalculation. It doesn't get into that that is somehow an incorrect placement of the square in the shape. But to me, it doesn't, we, we don't really get explicit instructions as to where the square is. Does it have to be on the bottom so that the length and the width together are making the square? To me, the whole point of a prism of a box is it, it, you can just rotate it, right? That's why length with height is all relative. It really doesn't matter because since they're being all multiplied together, it doesn't matter what we call the length or what we call the width or the height, right? It will always multiply to the same volume. So the idea of a length versus a height to me is, is not really relevant, but um, maybe there's something implied by the way that this piece is phrased. The uh, right square prism implies that the base has to be the square. I don't know, it bothers me. I don't think that that is well done. I, I think that there's enough ambiguity in a question like this that 
someone could argue, like I am, that the choice A could be right. Um, and I would expect the College Board to have provided a better explanation for why it's not. Um, so hopefully uh, they just don't make these kinds of uh, ambiguous questions again. Or maybe I'm just plain wrong. And maybe it's very obvious to everyone except me that it's got to be choice D. But choice D is the answer. But give me your comments. Give me your thoughts. What's the deal with A? Is, is it possible? I'm, I'm curious.